Hello everyone, Ted Clayton here. I want to share an interesting observation. Now, this is in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic, the lockdowns that we're experiencing, and the whole face mask thing. Very interesting observation. And I noticed it maybe two weeks ago, and I'm just now getting around to doing videos, so that's one thing, that's one reason why I didn't do it immediately. But a lot of times, sometimes, um, I, unfortunately, I'll wait too long or I'll contemplate something a little too long and I'll forget about it or I'll just get caught up with something else. But a lot of times, I feel that I overall, I feel like that's an important thing for me to do personally because I do have a lot of ideas. That's one thing. And it's great. I, you know, I don't mind sharing. But also, yeah, there's what would be interesting to share. But at the same time, it's letting things play out. And maybe there's greater insight or maybe it just kind, kind of just uh, kind of goes away and becomes irrelevant. And again, not to say certain things aren't important. It just kind of... You know, it doesn't really need to be spoken about. This is about the the face mask announcements that go on in the subways, the MTA here in New York City, in the subway stations. And we all know they'll have they have the famous one, Rosie Perez. There's one with Davies. I don't think it, I don't think that one. There's one with Angie Martinez. I don't think those last two are about face masks. But the one with Rosie, everyone knows that one. That's what I knew. It was like, oh geez, there's one with a baseball player. There's one with uh, some news anchor, and you know they have their standard voiceover actors and what have you. And okay, now for the record, for those who are not aware for the billionth time <laughs> that I've shared this. I'm not I'm not in favor of face masks, our current restrictions and lockdowns. I'm not in favor of them, but I do respect um any rules, any establishment want feels that they need to uh implement. I will definitely look at that versus the laws of the land and how I personally feel, my personal perspective, but also ultimately I do respect people's um, decisions, the rules, um, and if anything, I have also my right to take my business somewhere else or to decline someone else's business. So I'll just leave that at that. And I also will say that I find it interesting that as someone who's an anti-masker, that someone put an interesting post that I forgot the logic they said, but they said something like, oh, no, I do remember. They said something about, it's something to affect that there's no such thing as the anti-masker that's just who you were before the lockdown, you know, where it's just, we're being us, you know, just breathing freely, you know, without any obstruction on our face. So thought that was interesting. It just popped in my mind. So, oh, it, the observation I, I, I've always, not the one I'm going to share, but the one that I've always made that I want to share for context is that even though I'm an anti-masker, I've always found myself enforcing the rules more than people, more than the average person. And I find this really annoying. You know, I'll be at a 7-Eleven, you know, just like all places, and they have the stickers on the floor, and people will just be right, you know, up upon me, you know, or right behind me. And people have noticed this. I've spoken to associates. I've, spoken, I've seen other people talk about this online. So people are noticing this. It's just always been so crazy. And I, I've been, I've told, told people, you know, I have, I have to keep my calm because not, not one, it's, it's an invasion of space, but it's also, it happens so many times, you get exhausted repeating yourself. Just, you know, of course, the person is not the same person, but it's just in general, like, what's going on here? Anyhow. Uh, you know, I'll politely ask the person, hey, you know, can you just step back, please? You know, and sometimes they'll turn into a fight. Sometimes I'll have to um, embarrass them. Sometimes, every once in a while, people will be pretty uh, um, 
they'll just do it. You know, they won't put up a fight. They'll be pretty cool about it, pretty respectful. So that's that. So I'm just going to put that out there. Those are the announcements. So there's all these face mask announcements that are really annoying. And as we're all aware of, they play all the time. They're on repeat. They're very annoying. And I actually find them to be pretty intrusive. I think they're pretty demanding in the, the tone, uh, the repetition, the wording, the word choice. I do find it to be pretty invasive. And with something like this, where it's such a sensitive topic, I believe, I think those things should be considered because it's such a polarizing thing. So when someone wants to implement a certain rule, uh, and of course in real life we see this where some people are super rude, some people are super uh, polite. But now in these announcements, they've all been just, you know, it's for your own good, or um, you'll get a fine, or... Um, What's another one? Uh, you must. <laughs> you must. You should. Um, uh, be safe. It's like, I mean, yeah, but you don't know how I feel. You know, whatever. One announcement. There was one announcement by the MTA. And I heard it one time, and I never heard it again. It was actually what I like to call the polite or gentle reminder, and the person said, "It was a sound like it sounded like a like a uh, an older white woman, like a white woman, like her fifties, sixties, something like that." And it said something to the effect of, "And I mean, the tone was there, soft tone, slow tone, and the wording was there." And I remember because I I can feel these things. I'm very sensitive to uh, things like this, like how things are worded. Tone, even the PA, just how loud it is. You know, it, this is all over the station, so that takes a certain effect on me. I remember hearing this, and you know, when I hear these things, my body gets disrupted, stomach starts feeling nauseous. But when I heard this, I've, it was calming. And uh, the person says something to the effect of, the announcement says something to the effect of, this is a gentle reminder. It's, it's like, hello, uh, hello, New Yorkers. This is a gentle reminder to please put on your mask. Uh, Or to please put on a mask. Not your, a. Um, We're we're, we're all all doing our best. We we all are are facing this problem. Um, So we, again, ask you gently, politely, to please wear a mask when riding the subway station. Thank you for listening, um, and enjoy your day. And when I heard that, I was blown away. I was like, holy crap, hell froze over. <laughs> and I only heard that once. And I'm in the subway all the time. Anybody who works for the MTA, who rides the MTA, or if you're one of the people that's um, part of the staff, let me know what's up. Am I tripping, or am I on to something? Um, am I making this up or am I correct? Because I'm pretty sure I'm correct. I only, I hear Rosie, I still hear Rosie Perez's announcement. And, you know, that was the first celebrity announcement. And then that, they played that out until they started getting other celebrities on board. You know, I'm, so, it's such a polarizing thing. I don't know how they couldn't get celebrities way sooner. I mean, they played that out for months. And then you hear all these celebrities. Um, but I hear all the announcements. I'm on the subway all the time. I, you know, I'm, And I'm very attentive to my environment, especially with something like this. And that was the only time I heard it. I don't remember. I want to say I was in Queens when I heard this. I'm not sure. I was either in Queens or in the city. If I was in Queens, maybe uh, LIC, something like that. Or because I'm usually around there every once in a while. Um, pretty f- frequent enough, uh, or somewhere in Midtown. I don't remember, but because I, I remember it caught me off guard. That's why I say like the environment didn't really, or maybe Brooklyn. I might have been in Brooklyn. I, I don't remember, but I remember it caught me off guard because even and I, I just had a, a, another reminder for those who 
ride the MTA, and I'm sure this might be happening in the town, wherever, in whatever part of the world. They have these prompters, and I think that's what you call them. You know, they have a message going across, and they'll say, you know, uh, whatever, you know, sometimes, and here in New York, they'll caption what the person is saying on the PA, so they have a celebrity, another celebrity, and they'll caption it. <laughs> and I think this one was a caption of a celebrity. I think it was when it was like a player from the New York Mets was doing a face mask announcement. And they captioned what he was saying. And then in the end, when he was saying wear a mask, it started flashing. It was in all caps. Everything else was just regular, capital and lowercase. And then when it came to the end to face mask, it said, wear your mask, wear your, and capital S, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about, the aggression of it. And look, I don't really want to get into this because this kind of a real... We could really dig deep into this. I remember someone online, and someone I know from NYU, they they posted something, and I'm going to post this on Facebook, but I just got to say this from the heart, and I'm not really judging the person, but it was kind of dumb what they said. Or I just, it just, it was just like WTF. They said, and this was like maybe six months into the, into the lockdown. I hate using the word lockdown. I'm into the whole quarantine. Six, nine to nine months. They said something to the effect of, and what, if you're listening to this, no, there's no shots at you, but I really didn't like the, the post. And I remember I did respond, and I'm responding very politely, but I didn't really like it because the essence of it. They said, uh, you know, guys, we should really change our approach when it comes to face masks. The aggressive approach really doesn't work when come, uh, 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 when one have, have, have people wear face masks. And I said something to the fact that, you know, I really don't remember what I said, but I, I really don't remember. But I said, yeah, you know, people definitely were very tactless. And I, I was being very respectful, even though I didn't like it. I was like, what the hell? Like, and really what I was thinking was, like, are people just now realizing they're supposed to be polite? You know, use tact? Um, you know, not just yell at people? You know, I get, you know, the sense of urgency if you may feel it, but it's like, you know, number one, read the room. You know, it's very, it's a very polarizing thing. And two, aggression really doesn't work a lot of times, especially with something... Uh, so sensitive like this, and just you know, just, it's just in general with strangers. It's you know, I've had strangers just totally you know gang up on me, and it's like I don't know you, and you know, and again, this is this whole that's a whole thing in there. But you know, I, I I said I added my two cents just to one, I acknowledge it, but I had to say something. But I really didn't like the post. Um, looking back, and at that time. But anyhow, I digress. It was just something where, uh, you know, this thing is just so strange. And people are not being mindful. And, it, I mean, you they're not caring. You're not going to... You either are so checked out, which is something that, you know, you have to address or... They don't care, and I'm really in the. I'm really more in line where people really didn't care. They didn't care about how they were coming across, and this is the same thing where we have all these announcements, and you know I have a thing with repetition, and I I'm, once I start seeing repetition, I, that that you know a, a red flag, you know an alarm goes off. So once I see repetition, that definitely gets my attention, but that was the one time where I heard, again, all this to say, that was the one time where I heard a polite, a gentle reminder, and I never heard it again. I think I trailed off a bit and maybe missed a point, but I think that was, uh, that was the essence of what I wanted to share. So it's a so, real strange situation. And see, now just, now just talking about this, I kind of started to get into a whole nother uh, I started kind of shifting into something else, but again, just uh, I'll I'll end this video right here. But really, just sharing this whole thing with the um, that announcement, I find it strange. If 
anybody else has experienced anything like this, please share. Because I would like to know if this is maybe just happened to you, or it'd be interesting to see if this just happened in New York. I'm, I'm very, I'm, you know, I'm very sure that there have been these repetitive, loud, <laughs> uh, obnoxious uh, announcements. I'm pretty sure of that. But if there was, if there was ever actually any polite announcements, any actually respectful. Um, gentle. Let me use that word just to be very neutral about this whole thing. If they please share examples of gentle reminders or um, of wearing a face mask. You know, I, I sorry, I'm at a loss of words right now. But um, someone gently asking, uh, wanting, you know. Uh, Wanting people to wear face masks. Any gentle reminders? Please share. That would be interesting. Let's, yeah. Let's get a conversation going around that. Um, let, yeah, please share. That would be interesting to see. And that's the one that is the only one that I see here in New York. And that was, I don't, I think I, all this stuff I've been saying, I, I didn't mention when this was. I think that was, I wrote it here. You know what? If you guys don't mind, just bear with me. This video is already pretty long. I actually I meant to keep it short. Excuse me. And that didn't happen. Thanks for listening as always. I do have a journal here. And I believe I wrote that. I mean I take notes of everything, but I think that was something that I I took a personal you know, I I, I went to the Make a personal note of it. I'm going back. This is already. Just bear with me. We're back in December. It may have been that far back. We're going back to October, maybe. I. Okay, wait. No, September, August. Um. Okay, I didn't really have this prepared, so. Eh. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. If I did in fact write it, maybe I I deleted it or I wrote it somewhere else. But I think I wrote it in that journal, in this journaling app. I'll. I'll put it in the notes. Anyhow, just wanted to share that. Um, again, if any gentle reminders in your city, in your country, um, please share. All right. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day.